going on everybody and um, welcome back and to the channel now today we are back here with some discord cricket memes episode 100 and 79, I, I think that's what it is. I'll figure it out when I do edit the video. But hey, we are here with an episode. I just finished recording my full match review for India v Sri Lanka. And I got about halfway through. And then I, I put it in the editing, like the editing software after I finished recording. And realized half of the video had that staticky, robotic fucking audio. So essentially half of it got ruined. I've now transferred over here to do a memes episode so I can forget about it. I might try and record another match review after this, but if you don't see one today, that is why. I don't know why, it's like every time I buy a new microphone, they just seem to fucking break. Don't, don't understand it, don't get it, but here we are. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. After last night's fucking demolition job of India on Sri Lanka, all out for 50 once again. Let's have a go. So we got Butler after getting back to back. <laughs> what is this? Butler! Is that really Joe's? It does look like him. Yeah. Wow. What's he cooking up there? He's cooking up a nice little storm. He might be cooking up David Willey's career on that plate. The iconic Sachin Tendulkar pose. Yeah, I did see a few photos of this statue last night. We're going to need a close-up of the face, but... That is, I mean, at least they got the pose nailed and they got all of that, you know, nailed up. Um, there's, there's a little bit going on with that statue, but we'll see it a bit later in the video, I think. Franchise cricket is here. So, of course, the man David Weller did decide to retire from international cricket after the World Cup. He is 33, which, look, I'm gonna, I, I, people seem to really enjoy what he does and like what he does. I've never been a massive fan of him. He is now classified as like a bowling all-rounder, which... He's okay with the bat. He's done some okay things with the stick in hand in T20 comps. And I think this is definitely the best move for his career. But um, it is a shame to see it happening to more people because, you know, especially with a guy like Reese Topley, who's always getting injured, you think they would still need someone like Willie hanging around. But anyways, that's England's choice. I only wish the worst for them. So uh, BCCI has announced that there won't be any fireworks in the World Cup games hosted by Delhi and Mumbai. The air quality index of both cities is very poor, um, and the stadiums could add to that level. So, yeah, obviously a good thing there. Yeah, there's no need to, to have... Of course, like, it adds a little bit of a spectacle after or before the game or after a wicket or some shit, but, yeah, yeah it's just not necessary. Got to think of the planet, man. All the people were confused. We got Surya Kumar Yadav covered his face and went to Marine Drive to interview the people. Yo, <laughs> What? What is he doing this for? Team India is currently in Mumbai to play again. So, is this interview like... Oh, oh I see the logo. Okay, it's probably on India's um, Instagram page or something. I might have to watch that. How would no one... Oh, I'm surprised that no one would even notice him under like a mask. Others are meeting... Others after meeting with Baba. Virat after the handshake with Baba. Honestly, that tweet that that uh, the man Azam posted about you will be back, Kohli, like that just set the man up for failure ever since. Did you get him? Guess the two cricketers. Okay, give me a moment. So that is Shadab Khan and Joss Butler. First one, two. It's got to be Shadab Khan and the Butler. Last three away. One of them is Shadab. Yep. Yes. Or is it Topley? Top half is Shadow. I'm guessing bottom half is someone else. It's not bottom half, it's the merged here. Yeah. Merged. Coley? No. Is he Indian? No. Is he white? Yes. Yo. Come on, that's a hard English player. Oh, I'm onto it. Topley. Oh, who did I say? I can't even remember. It's which. Wait, wait, is it James Addison? Come on! No. Mark Wood? No. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Butler, that's right, I forgot. Damn, so I saw that shit right at the start. I don't want to say that I'm a I'm a guru at that thing, but maybe I've found my calling. Maybe I'm just not good at geography. I'm good at mixing, uh, guessing cricketers' faces all merged together. Quinton de Kock. The man is really showing his big de Kock at the moment. I mean, the four tons in, in so far. He's got plenty of games to go. Could five, could six be on the table? 2015 World Cup, eight matches, zero tons. 2019, nine matches, zero tons. This World Cup, 
I don't know what sort of preparation he's got. He must just be playing with a lot of freedom because he's, he knows he's going to retire at the end of this World Cup. So he's just said, fuck it, let's go out there and have a tonk. The, one of the scariest batting lineups, not just in the World Cup, but like we've, we've ever seen him in white ball ODI cricket for that matter. I mean, 82 sixes so far. And they've still got a couple games in the in the group stages to go. So that is a scary, scary thought. If they keep making close to 400 every fucking game, they're going to hit a lot more <laughs> uh, soon. Number one, Shutman Gill trying to take it. Barba trying hard not to give it up. And then you got the man Quinny Decay in the form of his life. Yeah, I'm surprised he's already not number one as it is. Yeah, after about 4,000 hundreds in a row. Demba, <laughs> I don't know. yo, the man is at his, like, he's literally at Marco Jansen's cock level, like, the man really is Rey Mysterio up against the great Carly, Mark Henry, and then uh, the big show, <laughs> bro, that is that one scene, now, nah, vintage SA cricket vibes, Hashim, AB, and similar to QDK and Klaassen, but you add David Keller Miller into that list at the moment. Even my king, Temba Bavuma. It's just great to watch, isn't it? And then you got perfectly balanced as well. So you've got miniature, half, full. And that is, okay, so let's let's put this into example. This is me when I'm watching, um, when I'm watching Moses on Reeks. This is me when I'm watching, uh, Oh, I want to say Keshav Maharaj and this is me when I'm watching Ben Stokes so just yeah you either get the joke or you don't unfortunately with that one uh, this pick goes really hard this is messy world and we're just living in it the man did win another Ballon d'Or I think it was his 8th or ninth or some ridiculous thing like that I actually don't keep up to date that much with the Ballon d'Ors because a lot of the time it feels rigged. <laughs> uh, but yeah, shout out to the Messi. I mean, he's one of the the greatest sporting figures of ever. Saudi, the new world hub sport. Yeah, so Aussies have officially dropped out. I did I did hear about this that um, Saudi Arabia will host the uh, the 2034 FIFA World Cup. So. Okay, money talks, and we're not surprised, unfortunately. The Aussies were going to host it, so here we go. Australia authorities had plans to host it, or at least put in a submission. Yeah, look, I'm going to be honest. We do not have the sort of money that Saudi Arabia have, um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> we do not have the same infrastructure, money. Yeah, unfortunately. The world's most polite deer? Have you ever had a deer bow to you? Can't say I have. Recently in Nara, Japan, home of the world's most polite animals. Is that him? They're treated like humans and literally roam the city interacting with Oh. Now, these deer are special because in addition to being extremely cute and personable, they also understand traffic lights and don't run in front of cars, unlike deer in the United States. I'm not sure if they learned it by themselves or were taught by the city, but the deer hey. will actually bow to tourists as you enter the city as a way to welcome everybody in a custom hey, no way. Japanese way. They'll even just bow to you as they come across to you in the city if you bow to them first, which I think really demonstrates their intelligence. Huh? Now you're able to purchase deer cookies for about 25 A deer cents, cookie? To summon large groups of deer that will shame them. Can you eat them? For treats. And I mean, come on, are you going to say no to that? Now, just like any group, not all of them are friends. Oh, no. Ramming you in the back, others jumping on you for a cookie, and a few who will even refuse to bow back at you, which is pretty embarrassing. Yeah. But in general, Damn. these are definitely the friendliest wild animals you'll ever come across. Definitely recommend. Bro, who wants to go to Japan? Okay, meet some deer. Oh, can you eat? No, I'll edit that out. First a broken leg, now a concussion after falling off the back of a fucking golf cart. I mean, who was driving the golf cart? Ben Stokes? Like, brother, give me a spell. Like, what is going on here? He will miss the game. And, of course, Mitchell Marsh has also gone back home for family reasons. We hope he's okay and everything is good. But, damn, it leaves a big hole. Um, the Aussie coach reacts. Glenn and a few other players jumped on the back of carts, and unfortunately, he lost his grip on the way back and the team to the team bus and sustained the injury. How? Like, how fast was the golf cart going? <laughs> was anyone safely driving it? Oh, it just seems like something that just could have been really avoided, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know if Glenn was trying to do a handstand off the back of it or how he even fell off. You're a grown man, Glenn. Hold on to the golf cart, would you please, Glenn? We need you against England. 
But no, you're going to be resting up after a concussion, after falling off a fucking golf cart. You, I hope you at least won golf that day. Another setback. Yeah, the man Mitchell Marsh has flown back and... It does sound like that he will want to come back at some point in the World Cup, but if we're not even a part of the Super Fours, then I guess he won't be coming back to anything except to try Indian cuisine, <laughs> to try some more food. Agree with this 11. Head, Warner, Green, Smitty Boy, Labuschagne, Inglis, Stoin, Camo, Stark, Hazelwood, Ho uh, Hazelwood, Zampa. I think yes, but I also could definitely see the selectors bringing in um, what's his name? Stoinis instead, because they seem to love him so much. So it would not surprise me if we see even Labuschagne, or even Labuschagne miss. It wouldn't surprise me. Or maybe we see Inglis move up. Oh no, hold on. I didn't even realize Stoinis is here at number seven. So just forget what I was saying about that, huh? <laughs> what would you rather? Episode 99. This should be a good one. KFC or Burger King. Oh, oh brother. Come on. KFC all the way. I've, I don't live in America. I've never had Burger King. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Have no eyebrows or have no eyelashes. Oh. That's a, that's a really, really tough one. And both seem quite scary. I'm going to say no eyelashes. That just seems like a smarter choice. Yeah. Stop showering. Oh. Stop brushing your teeth. Oh, Jesus. So either way, you're going to smell like shit. I'm going to say stop showering because at least then you could jump in a pool maybe or jump in some water <laughs> maybe i'll get the fucking hose out the back and i'll start showering does that count wear wet socks for oh your life. nasty wash your hair once a year. bro what is this i'm gonna say w wash my hair once a year because wet socks that could lead to all sorts of toe fungus <laughs> lose your wallet oh lose your Oh, uh, probably, ooh, gee whiz. I'm going to have to say phone? Neither? No, wallet. I'm going to say wallet. Yeah. Okay. One book a day for the rest of your life. Okay. Never read a book again. I'm going to say never read a book again, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. Oh. Oh, so I can become Rinku Singh, essentially, if I wanted. Choosing the bottom option. Pretty simple to me. This is an easy choice, yeah. Be attacked by a shark or have your house robbed. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. I'm going to say have my house robbed because that means if they come in here, I at least get to fight back. I feel like with a shark, if, if, he, if he bites me, I'm going to be quite tasty, so he's just going to eat me. Yeah, and most people chose the other one. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm really glad there. Happy birthday to the king of Bollywood, SRK. It was the man's 58th birthday. The Kolkata legend, or Kolkata Knight Riders legend. I don't know if he's actually from that area, but hey, shout out. I have seen a few of his movies, of course. I've seen Chuck D. That was a great movie. I've seen a few others. Um, not, not entirely, but I've seen actually fair bits of them. What a life journey. Lost parents in early age. Damn, that sucks. Came to Mumbai with nothing. Uh, initially did many negative characters, gave one of the biggest blockbusters of Indian cinema, DDLJ, became India's most lovable actor, became one of the most richest in the world, and I want to say one of the most, like, world-known. Maybe, I don't know if it's just because I do this YouTube channel and I interact with a lot of, you know, Indian media per se, so I, I know a lot more about him, but I feel like he's pretty global, like, everywhere in the world like even america europe all that a legendary frame we got hitman sachin murali i think we see a bit of jadeja in behind there is that rinku singh no it's not he's not there <laughs> thought i saw him for a moment the bombay heat mm, we got ishan the the designated um what do you call this umbrella beach beach umbrella holder so there's the you get a designated gatorade mixer and now the new one Umbrella holder. I mean, in India, you need it. <laughs> that heat would be so weltering in pads, in a helmet. None of these exactly like Steve Smith a few weeks ago, though, when he was ready to give CPR to and looked like the man was ready to collapse. But it's good to see he's still okay. Shookman back in the runs. We know the reasoning. Of course, his, um, his friend, I want to say, was there. Sarah. Um, or I want to say... In law, Shutman Tenduka, so interesting stuff, of course, did give a nice little tribute there to Sachin going out in the 90s and just said, look, that one's for you, Popper. <laughs> so that was just inspirational as always. We love that. 
good to see that she was happy for his 90 as well because we know Sachin did used to go out in the 90s a lot. So just a nice little tribute. Shami, hold on a minute. Do not disrespect the man Sham God by thinking he is Dust Martha Chimera. Come on. We're not going to have that star sports or whoever did that. You got to be better. Come on. India has found the successor, Shukman Tendulkar. Yeah, I mean, he was fantastic last night. Really, we just went at a runner ball. But that partnership between them, yeah. I mean, he's been the successor even before the World Cup. And then, of course, had that mosquito bite or whatever it was. And then, you know, lost, not lost form, but just had to regain his touch in, the, in cricket. And, yeah, I mean, he's looking a hell of a lot better. Again, um, Virat, first time since 2019, scoring 1,000 ODI calendar year runs. He did it in 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2017, 2018, and then two World Cup years, 2019 and 2023. It's a fair effort. I wonder who's got the most 1,000 calendar year runs. That's something I'm probably just... Can someone tell me? <laughs> Trademark VK shots, the VK cover drive, or the VK straight drive. Which one would you rather? The ball that just bangs straight past the bowler's foot or the one that just goes straight through the covers and pierces the gap? What? Which one would you rather? I don't know. I'm thinking I'm still a cover drive, but there's not much more than a straight drive. We know the man Sachin. That used to be his shot. The Sachin Tendulkar statue at Wankedi looks <laughs> looks more like Steve Smith than Smudgy Boy does himself. I'm not going to lie, guys. What is going on? Who designed this statue? And was it Steve Smith? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I can see the resemblance of Sachin a little bit. But, like, this looks a hell of a lot more like it does Steve than it does Satch, man. What? <laughs> what is going on? Seriously, come on. Who has designed that? Have they lost their job yet? Fuck. Full English Full breakfast English versus breakfast India? Versus an Indian breakfast. Okay. Which country has the better breakfast? Crack some eggs, sunny side up, of course. Next up, we got some sausage. Sausage? Chicken, of course, hold on. Then we're gonna fry some tomato. After that, let's fry up some mushroom. Okay. And then let's fry up some baked beans. Okay. Full English breakfast according to the internet. I went to the Indian market and got some dosa mix. Really, I did it wrong last time. Let's make our dosa. Does it, hold on a minute. Does this, like, I see this, like a lot of UK people, they eat like sausages for breakfast. I don't know about you guys, but isn't sausages more like a lunch or a dinner sort of thing? I don't know. Sausage? I don't know. It's like what you whip up on the barbecue at night. You have a few beers. I don't know. Maybe that's just Australia, but... Yeah. Some dosa? Okay. You better do it properly. Season with turmeric, ground cumin, curry powder. And there you got your Indian breakfast. Ah, avoid etcha. Full English going first. Baked beans for breakfast is absolutely insane for it's a heavy ass breakfast. It's nice and simple. It's I feel like he's missed a few things though, no? The seasoning is so strong. The English breakfast definitely tastes better. I'm gonna go with India because it's lighter. <laughs> I think the man said that for the views there. Come on, mate. Who are you fooling? With all due respect, I don't I don't know if he did the Indian meal correctly. Like it felt like he was missing a few side things and maybe just like come on, India's not that bland of a breakfast. They still add a few more little extra things amongst it. Come on, man. You went all out for England, but not enough for, for India? Come on. Live reaction to Virat failing to convert another good knock. Yikes. No comment to that one, unfortunately. If you guys want to come and abuse anyone in the Discord, make it this person right here, like, just if you have to. Like, he, he, he seems to be a Virat hater, so... I don't know. I wouldn't let that. Me personally, I wouldn't let that slide. But anyways, Chahal, Sarah, Gil, and KL's wife in the house. We've got Yuzi. Okay. Um, that's um, Sarah. And then we've got... Who's this? KL's wife. Which one? Which one's KL's wife? No, I'm joking. The middle one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, nah, shout out to them. Good on them. Yes, yeah, Sarah Gill. Fact, I didn't even... It just seems so natural to me now that I didn't even realize that, but... And yes, the wait for the maiden ton doesn't matter. The 90 was better. It meant more to Sachin than that. Although he will be giving him some throwdowns in the nets a bit later. And to be honest, Sarah, you might have to get out there and just give a few underarms as well because he needs to slow it down. You know, he, he went out to a bit of a slower delivery last night, was waiting for it, edged it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 
Sachin be like, that's my child. Yeah, Sachin watching Shookman get out in the 90s. Oh, just makes your heart warm, doesn't it, Sach? <laughs> oh, for real. I mean, like, low-key, like, yeah. It low-key is a tribute. Daughter, father-daughter duo will be very happy. <laughs> Fact. Where is Sachin? I think the man went to the bathroom to start crying. He was getting a bit emotional and... That's, that's my kid. That's my man. That's him. Is pressure building on Virat to tie Sachin's 49 centuries? I don't think there's any pressure at all. I mean, the man just do it in his own time. He's had a few stiff dismissals. Last night was pretty poor. Just didn't read it. Came on top of it and popped it straight up. So, unfortunate, but he will get there. <laughs> He'll get there. That's six. By, oh yeah, damn, did that man just punish the bowlers straight over their heads last night. It was very arousing stuff. 106 metres, even, uh, I mean, Yuzi, he wasn't watching. <laughs> and then this is, um, what's her name? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, um, it starts with an R, right? Right? I think it starts with an R. Ratika, is that it? I'll edit that out. It might be wrong, but um, shout out to her. That is Rowett's wife, I think. Um... And she, she seemed impressed. She was gonna, she was about to leave Rowett for Aya right then. <laughs> oh, just a joke. Next match, 49th. It is his birthday as well, Virat's birthday. Um, yeah, is it loading? Innings taken from 48th to 49th. It took Sachin 13 innings with 250s in behind, uh, in between. Hope it doesn't take Coley that long. So it's already been, how many innings? It's getting there. <laughs> nah, look, he's, he's still got a few more to go. He'll definitely get to it before Sachin did, I reckon. Um, yeah, no doubt about it, to be brutally honest. I think it'll be this World Cup. It's basically fried milk dough balls soaked in a sticky. How to make gulab jamun. Okay. You guys know Saturdays are my cheat days, and this is the perfect snack. Let's get started with milk powder, butter, and milk. Okay. Mix it all up. It's a lot of milk. A separate bowl, grab all purpose flour and baking powder and incorporate these together until it comes together and you can make a little ball. Then, to make the syrup, add water, okay. sugar, okay. carbon pods, okay. rose syrup, and okay. a squeeze of lemon. As that reduces, you can start frying up your dough balls on medium heat for about 5 minutes until Ooh. they are golden. They're looking crispy. Then, you can start dipping them into your sweet syrup. After that, have it covered for about half an hour. Half an hour, wow. it off with some more syrup and crushed pistachios and almonds. I honestly can't have too much of this. It's so sweet. But that's pretty much it. Enjoy. Wow, thanks for that. Now I'm very hungry. So, God, just give me another view of those. Oh, yeah, that is what I'm talking about. When they're nice and crisp and you still see a bit of that gold texture through them, a bit of that syrup. I've got to try some of these ASAP, man. Does anyone make them in Australia? I'm going to find that out right after this video, I think, because I'm feeling a little bit hungry. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit hungry. Also, a question. Obviously, you know, when you get a meal like this, you want to eat it by itself. You don't add other random components. But something that seems like would go very, very nicely with this is like a scoop of ice cream, a vanilla ice cream, or is that just a crazy suggestion? Or maybe it does have enough like sweet taste in it that you don't need that, but... Maybe it's just I like ice cream. <laughs> Seen so far. We got different. Pack trying to qualify with the help of the other teams. England saying they're a distant chance for the... Uh, not to qualify for the CT. Maxwell after getting into... <laughs> after India and SA fighting for that top spot. Damn, this man is tall as heck. Maxwell, yeah, come on. Come on, Glenn. We're better than that. I am very heartbroken. Heartbroken after watching our batsman miss out. Yeah, this is a very telling image here and there's clearly a lot of heartbroken people and yeah. <laughs> very close, but very far until very far, damn. Although I'm not gonna lie, like I oh, yeah, and it would have been good to see him go on and get his ton, but three, I mean, three innings that ended up winning the game, so. Uh, Dilshan Madhushanka, bowling terrific. You see, he's still getting a bit of nip and a bit of movement, a bit of swing. It's cutting in the batsman. He's a great bowler, actually. Uh, five for 80 off 10. Look, not ideal, <laughs> but you take five huge wickets of the top order. You're feeling pretty strong. And I almost want to say Punjab King, question mark. What a football match between India and Sri Lanka. Two, three... 
Yeah, and then it got, uh, I think it went to about 10 for 20 at one point, so. <laughs> oh, no. Who would actually win in a real football match between those two countries? I assume India, right? Does Sri Lanka even have football? Literally, can't understand where's the wicket columns and where's the run column. Precisely, and it feels like this is the last three times that these countries have played we're playing football. Man loves to destroy Lankans. How we look at Siraj, how Sri Lanka looks at him. <laughs> Bro, once he has pulled out that, that Sue celebration, it's time to pack up the bags and go home. Let's be honest. Umpire today. Just stick that finger out in the air, mate. Hey, hold on. Out. Still out. Still out. You can't stop him for doing this. Yeah, I know. Who did it better, but I'm not going to lie. I think Siraj, maybe. I think Ronaldo's copying him. Come on. Carnage. Zero runs in the Sanka. Karuna Ratne. Summer Wickarama. This, I did... Well, I was about to say I did just speak about this in my match review, but of course half of it did get cut out. I went on a massive rant about this shot precisely. One of the worst cricketing shots you will ever see. When your team is two for two and you come out to the crease and try and whip it for six or some shit. I don't want to talk about it. Kusal got a ripper. And yeah, just the rest. <laughs> oh man, just not, not a lot. Trio of destruction. Media hype pace factory. The real pace factory at the moment. Yeah, the sham god. Qualified for the semis. I mean, just looking at that score from Sri Lanka. Come on, man. We're better than that. I mean, Kusal should have scored that by himself. Even Jadeja linking in. Most wickets for India in World Cup history. One of the great World Cup bowlers, you have to say, and he deserved, well deserved. The numbers, 14 innings, 45 wickets, an average of 13. Strike rate of 15, which is obviously piss all, and then best figures of five for 18. The man wasn't even in the starting 11 at the World Cup, and now he is dominating, like, yeah, it's crazy. Sachin's reaction after Virat missing his 49th hundred. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Ooh, this groovy music. But who is this guy? Bro, this is Sachin after a few of those uh, Gulab Jamuns. <laughs> Shout out to that guy, man. What a legend. He low-key does look like Sachin, though. That's royalty. Who will stop the trio? Well... Maybe South Africa, but we have to wait and see, don't we? So that next game against the Proteas is going to be must-watch cricket. Revenge, what others bowlers see? <laughs> what Sham God sees? Yeah, of course. Yeah, look, we know the situation. He is just, he's saying, come get me. Maybe don't because you can't because I'm untouchable now. You left him and you didn't want him at his worst and now he's at his best. Everyone will want the Sham God. Gil and Siraj soon number one. Yeah, essentially. Um, and by the way, Quinton de Kock could be that number one though. So yeah, KL reaction after convincing Rowett for the review. <laughs> He's like, hey, I did tell you that, that it's out, man. I didn't think it was out. He was the only one that actually cared enough to review it at all. But yeah, that's why you, a lot of the time you're just back in the wicketkeeper. New records by VK. Fastest to 8,000 runs in Asia. Most times with 1,000 plus runs in a calendar year. So I've just figured out my answer to a question I asked earlier. 4,000 international runs via the Lankins. Most runs um, in this World Cup. Uh, I think he's actually second, but we'll let that go. Most 50 pluses in the World Cup by a non-opener so far. I mean, the man is having a huge World Cup. People you know, might see the one low score and then just assume that he can't have one bad score. <laughs> like, come on. Um, we got Sham God. I've improved my bowling by watching Ralph. How? I just try to not bowl like him. <laughs> At the moment, that would seem like a very good plan. I don't blame you for that. Maybe trying to like, maybe he's been watching some Moses on Reek state, uh, state Sheffield Shield highlights because he's been bowling very well. So maybe that's the inspiration is coming from. Thank you, India, for making his day memorable. My first World Cup match at 86 years old. Shout out to this absolute legend. The man still looks like he could play cricket in his prime. So, hey, 
Shout out to him. That's awesome. I love that. I'm at, like, that is my dream to be still loving cricket at the age of 86. Like, imagine when you're older and you just, just want to watch some cricket, man. Look who was in the house. Oh, no. Yuzi, get off your phone, Yuzi. She's going to leave you. <laughs> Yuzi, get off the phone. She's going to quickly run on the pitch and leave you when you look away. Mm, yeah. I didn't actually, I didn't even know they were there, to be honest. I know Yuzi was there, but no, nah, good to see. Shout out to them. <laughs> Such cold clicks of Coley. Yeah, these are some of the best photos. This top one, it's like one of the most iconic ones. That's in the UAE. And then we've got last night. Um, is he the greatest World Cup bowler amongst current names? It's hard to say he's not. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to say that he wouldn't be. He's got the most four wicket hauls here as well. So in heaps of less games. Uh, is India next? World Cup undefeated. Windies, 75 and 79. Lanka, 96. Aussies of 2003 and 2007. So, maybe, maybe. I don't want to go early because I think there's been, hasn't there been a World Cup team that did go undefeated and then lost? So, I don't, I don't want to go too early. <laughs> Giving his all. Four kilos down. Good Lord. Shutman Gill said, I'm the kind of person who doesn't get nervous. I look to tackle it in my own way, not full fitness. I am four kilos down from my dang in terms of mass and muscle weight. Damn, that's a lot to lose. He must not have been eaten or some shit. Virat loves balls. Hitting them, maybe. Okay. Okay. Coley, we're going to have to talk about this. We have seen you do this too many times now. I'm not having it. <laughs> nah, that would have fucking hurt. Bro. And he just goes and... Str oh, he has a box in. I totally forgot. Okay, never mind. If you didn't have a box in, that would be dog. Timber after realizing they're next to face India. <laughs> no, Timber. Leaving the captaincy, Kushal. Before coming captain, the man couldn't be stopped. He's become captain. And he's hard to watch, so it's just not... It's just, yeah, too much weight on the man's shoulders. And I honestly don't... Doesn't surprise me. Like, captaining Sri Lanka would be enough for anyone to crumble. So this pose came from this innings in Sharjah in 98, which is also known as the Desert Storm. The 134 against Oz in the final. Hey... I mean, I'm not going to lie, like, other than, you know, maybe the not nailing the facial structure, the statue is pretty cool, I will be honest. Like, it's pretty cool. Um, got night view of Juan Ketty beside the seashore, yeah. One of the one of the better venues in the world, in India. One of the more famous as well. It's a good spot. It's actually a really good spot. Like, I could only imagine, like, if you live around these areas and you just get to go to the cricket and then if it was, like, during the day, you could then go to the beach or you could then, like, go get something to eat and then go back into the game at the half innings break. Man, it's a really good spot. It's like, it reminds me of Gold Coast in Australia where it's right by the water. Um, yeah, I like that sort of stuff. The six hitting pose. You got Jadu following Dhoni. I've seen this classic before. We have. We sure have. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Um, Hardik Pandya is a good all-rounder. Yes, Queen, you are right. Boys, average Stokes versus Jadeja conversation. <laughs> yeah, this has honestly been the all-time combo. And we, we know who clearly wins. I mean, one player comes to the World Cup, ruins his team chances and literally just gets a few extra match payments from CSK. The other player is Jadeja, who cares for his country and wants to win and impacts. So I know who I'm choosing, okay? Jadeja. <laughs> but if Moses on Reeks was an option, you know who I'm picking. And we've got our last one. I read this this morning when I woke up and I'm glad that someone's posted it just now in the memes discord. Man for man, I'd have this team every day over the Australians. Well, Alan DeGeneres, Go fuck yourself, firstly. Secondly, you're sitting last. Thirdly, you're not even going to qualify for the Champions Trophy. Fourthly, your moral victories. So that's okay with them. But hey, that is going to cap us off. Shout out to England for giving us many, many laughs and being terrible. We know that they morally are quite good, so that's okay. But hey, we will finish it off here. India, still undefeated. I'm actually going to go and try and finish recording my match review right after this. So... If, if, if you notice that half of it's kind of 
you know, weird or, or anything like that, then just let me know. But hey, I hope we all enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see everyone in the next one.